guys, Mike from the Stiz Media here, showing you a quick overview of my News Pro Styles add-on uh, for the News Pro theme for Genesis from Studio Press. I got my uh, demo site up here, and I'm already logged in. Whoops, already logged in, and uh, I'm gonna install the plugins from scratch so you can see the process. <clears throat> All right, uploading. Styles add on now. Once it's activated, you'll get a notification here that it requires Styles, the parent plugin. Just click, uh, one click, auto installs, activate that. We'll see a customized theme button here. That's how you would get started. Um, you're going to want to hit license beforehand, put your license in, save it, activate it, and uh, then let's get started. Appearance, customize. Now we have all these new options to customize our theme. I'm not going to do anything too crazy right now. I'll just run through some of the quick customizations. Oh, it looks like some of my stuff was saved already. Let me get out of here. I'll show you a trick ahead of time. Go to Styles, Reset, and Reset Styles. I've been reset. There we go. There's our demo. Okay, so Customize Theme. Should be back to start here. Let it load. There we go. There's our default theme. So, standard setting here is this background. Um, that's one of the only ones you're given. Um, but we want to do some other stuff here. Uh, let's see. What do we have? Header background. You can go a little darker. Uh, oh, we can get wild with that. Site title. You can make it white. <clears throat> Uh, go right to the nav menus. This is our header menu. Make that white. You can do hovers and, and all those settings too. Uh, nav primary. You can make that a blue, maybe a lighter one. Okay. I uh, went so light we turned into gray. That's alright. Uh, primary menu border color. Um, that's the, the, the light border underneath. You can barely see it with this color choice. Um, make them white too. That's good enough so you get the idea. Secondary, same thing. Background, let's do darker blue here. Alright. I'm not making it that pretty, just uh, letting you see what you can do. There's total control over everything here. Um, this border you'll see a little more. That's the in-betweens. Um, <clears throat> let's see, here's the whole menu border. There you go. Made it the same color so it looks like it's gone. Alright, uh, this has control over the home page widgets here. So here's global control. Uh, if you want the widget titles to look different, here's make them a little bigger. Uh, we can select a Google font. I use this one for my demo a lot. Um, then here's here's specific to the home page widgets. Um, I don't I don't have much content in there, but if this is like the featured section, so if you wanted this to stand out, um, you could darken that up or you know whatever. We'll leave that as default. Uh, footer widgets have their own setting here. There's blue. Um, if we want those widget titles, say, bigger. There's the titles. Um, site footer. Alright, if we want that border different, there you go. So as you can see, lots of quick customizations. All we got to do is save it, and you can see here's our live site. Changes are already in there. Styles plugins are fast. Oh, you have control over this here too in the menu. Um, which menu is that? Secondary. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. It's in there somewhere. Um, let's see. Let's go to a post and see what we have here. You have control over each post to entry border it's just the, the 
there, the, that border in between down there, you can see that change. That affects entries everywhere. Um, headings, we can change that font size. Um, text color of the heading. Link color in here. Oh no, that's title link. That's if you're on an archive. Entry meta. Uh, can change this. Entry meta link color. You can deal with hover. Category tags you can handle separately. Um, if we want that link to be its own thing, you can deal with that. Um, comments you have control over here. Um, we have support for eNews Extended and Gravity Forms. You can see Gravity Forms here on our contact page. Uh, let's say we wanted to sharpen that up. You could go to the field um, border. That's the border there. Whoops, missed. There we go. Darken that up. Field itself, background, you can do something with that. The button. We want our button to not follow the default button color since we changed things. We can go here. And uh, that's it. So as you can see, again, control over tons of stuff on this theme. Just about everything. Refresh, go to contact page. You can see it happen. There we go. So this is the News Pro Styles add-on from the Stiz Media. You can get it at thestizmedia.com. Uh, thanks for watching.